This is the first of two videos where I want to talk about 3D geometry. This video I want to talk about volume, next time surface area. Now, volume, as far as what you need to know walking in, is the volume of a right cylinder, so like a paper towel roll, or rectangular prism, shoe box, deck of cards, whatever, box, you know, get the idea. If you present it with something else, pyramids, conic sections, whatever, it's going to be a plug-in problem. Sphere, it's going to be a plug-in problem. They don't require you to know those. Here's the deal. With both rectangular prisms and right cylinders, it's just going to be area of the base times the height. So if you think of um, a deck of cards, right? A deck of cards... It's just card after card after card, and after a while they amass volume, right? I wanted to have a visual way to demonstrate this, but I, I tried with the cards. It didn't work so hot. Think of volume like a stack of areas. Is that actually correct? No, as far as um, how geometry really works, but it's a great way to think about it. So you find that area, and then you figure out how high that stack is. Same thing works with right cylinders, poker chips, coins, whatever. Try those two, by the way. Find the area and stack them up. Let's look at an ACT example. I'm going to blow it up in full screen. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Okay, here we go. We got this salt canister question. It's a right cylinder that's defined for us. Diameter, four inches. Again, I'm going to uh, write everything down. Height, seven. And they want volume. Now I can get rid of the question. I'm going to go ahead and try to sketch this out. I do a little bit better with this on the board because I do it a lot, you know, with students. Uh, but I'm never very good at it. In fact, it's kind of a laugh line. And I'm really bad at it on here. Well, that's not terrible, right? So we have an H of 7 and a diameter of 4. So first thing we need to do is find an area. Now... Remember, area of a circle is pi times the radius square. Cylinders have areas that are circles on the end, right? It's like a piece of pipe or something. Uh, remember, we need unit square. So, you, so that square, that 2, remember, there's always three components when you're finding circumference or area, 2, pi, and r. Because you need square units with area, the, the 2 is a square. Check out the uh, circle uh, circumference and area video for more on that. And... Well, trap number one is they gave you diameter, so we want to go ahead and half that. Pi times 2 squared, so the area is equal to 4 pi. Right? And then, remember, area uh, volume is just area of one of the bases times the height. And, a, and in a rectangular prism, by the way, uh, because it has different things it can sit on, you could calculate it different ways, right? It'll give you the same answer, but you, if you had like a shoebox, you turned it up on one end, then calculated that smaller area and, and multiplied by the height, you would get the same thing as if it was laying flat on its back. So volume here is equal to 4 pi times 7, or volume is 28 pi. Okay, second video we're going to talk about surface area. Now, I really recommend you work some problems in the practice set because while it seems so easy to remember you may forget by test day. And at the end of the day, try to focus on why things work the way they do more than formulas, more than memorization.